Hello all. Uh, today we are going to see uh, WSO2 API Manager version 3. So as I already discussed WSO2, I have I have created a video. Um, what is the use of WSO2 and uh, how to install it? But it was in 2.5.0. So now the uh, version has been changed. So so I thought of um making a video with the latest version so wso2 3.0.0 so <clears throat> so the concept remains same only thing is they have upgraded the latest version so i'll show you now how to install all the stuff so if you go to the wso2 site so directly it is there so you can install this uh, zip so once you extract it you will get this so inside this bin folder we will have wso2 server this is the bad file we have to start so let us start because it might take some two three minutes time so wso2 i'm starting but before starting before starting wso2 make sure that so you um, have gdk install in your machine and java home set properly so otherwise it will not start so i hope you know um, how to set the um, jdk home um, J J path so if not please watch my video till the end i will show it on uh, that part as well now so i'm starting yes because i have already set the uh, Sorry, I was running a different instance. I'm stopping that. So let me start back. So again, I'm starting. <clears throat> Meanwhile, uh, it gets started. So what I will do today, the agenda for today is, so we'll do, first we will install. So we have seen how to install the WSO2. Just download the zip and then, um, and then unzip it, start installation. Number one. Number two, uh, I have a API already. One web service is there. Uh, um, I will create a Swagger file or open uh, JSON file, open API JSON file. So third one is I will publish the API, and then the fourth one I will subscribe the API. And the last step is after subscription with the bearer token, I will show you how to access how to access the um, the API via WSO2. Via WSO2. So these are the um, broadly five items we are going to see installation as because we have downloaded the um, zip already and just extract it so installation is done and then for uh, creating the open we we should have a existing api in your uh, machine or somewhere it is running so if you don't have in your machine what you can do is you can on, on online you can have some web services exposed so that we can uh, create so let us jump jump to the uh, second topic which is creating the open uh, api json so um, so we can go to the uh, swagger editor on online so here you can uh, create the 
if you have a api names all the stuff right i have a api name already so this is my uh, api get customer is my api um i will show you um, whether my api is running or not see i have my in my machine only i have a web service running get customer is the web service so via postman so um, i have i am trying to access this <clears throat> So if you don't have Postman in our machine, so you can um, simply go and install the Chrome, Postman Chrome extension that will uh, install for you. So anyway, that is not mandatory for this topic. So if we, even without Chrome also you can, so it is better to have Chrome, so Postman. So uh, once you have the Postman, uh, what I have, I have already one web service running in my machine. So let me send a request and see if this is the uh, response I'm getting. So which means uh, my, uh, in my machine, one web service is there that we call that as a API also. So this API I'm going to publish in the, uh, in the WSO2. And then for that uh, API, I'm going to subscribe and with that subscriber, I'm going to access my actual web service. So this is the overall agenda for today. So um, how to create the uh, OpenJS, Open API JSON or Swagger file is the similar way. So you go to uh, Swagger editor. So here in the Swagger editor, we have to create the uh, APIs. For example, for me, um, I have a API and the path for that is get customers and method type is get and rest all is here. I don't have any parameters to pass all those stuff. So this is a response sample response. That's it. So if you see in the right hand side, you will be able to uh, see here. So this is how you create uh, the uh, open API JSON. So you can download this once you are done uh, with it, then cl uh, click on the save JSON, then it will uh, save in your machine. As of now, I have done the, that step because to uh, save the time. So my open API JSON is this. So it is not necessary that you should have open API JSON only. Uh, this name can be anything, uh, either it can be in JSON format or it can be in YAML format, which is Swagger file. So both of them uh, uh, WSO2 supports. So uh, let me check whether my um, WSO2 is up or not. So what I will do is I will try to access now. So my WSO2 is up and running. If uh, how can you uh, make sure that it is up and running? Yes. So if if you see the console now, it is saying started. And uh, there, as I discussed in the previous video, now uh, if you have not seen that even you, you video, you just go through it. Even if you don't see, also I am covering all the stuff in this video. So there will be three main components in uh, WSO2. One is Carbon, which is kind of an admin portal. And the other one is Dev Portal, which is subscriber subscription portal. And the uh, other one is the Publisher Portal, which we use for publishing our APIs. So Publisher will um, publish the APIs and the Dev Portal will subscribe the APIs. And Carbon is kind of an admin for bo um, both these um, portals. So now <clears throat> let's access this to the URLs also it has been uh, mentioned here. Um, so now first for the next step what we have is we have installed and we have created a open API JSON and the next step is publish the API. So for publishing the API I'm opening a Chrome browser and then typing HTTP publisher HTTPS localhost colon 9443 localhost colon 9443 publisher enter. So then it will uh, take you to the login page.
so here um, as i have already logged in it is directly going there so once you log in there is a button called create api here create api so this button you click it then uh, it'll automatically take you to the next page so here there is a pop-up i have an existing api you click on i have an existing api and then uh, here it shows input type either open api url or um, open api file so for us it is a file right so now i have chosen the file and then i have to upload the file here so i will go to my file and then upload it and then click next so here it is giving my uh, some name so if we want we can change it so here i will give the context as context test test so version you can give so version i am giving uh, as of now it is 1.0.0 and the endpoint is the place where your web service is running so my web service is running on my local host right so till here i have to copy and then place it here endpoint is this http localhost for example your web service is in running in some vm so till that host name you have to give so the rest of the path path will not give path will be specifying inside our open api json right so we don't need to give that and then the business plans uh, you can actually this is the main use of wso2 based on your clients you can choose the business plans so as of now i am choosing unlimited so done then i am going to create it <clears throat> so if you see here it is created then you have a button called publish so you click on that publish so it will pop up you once if it is successfully published so it has popped up me and then what i will do i will go to the view dev portal so from here only you can go just so uh, we are going to the second part now this is how we uh, publish the api publishing api is done now we are going to the next part which is subscribing the api so uh, we can subscribe the api via dev portal so i am clicking on view dev portal then it will take you to take us to the dev portal if you see on the top right it is showing dev portal so it is if the other tab is showing as publisher so now i am in a dev portal so we have to generate a token for that right so i am creating a new app so I, there is a in the left hand side there is a button called credentials so you choose that and then click and subscribe with a new application uh, so i am choosing that i am giving the application name and per token quota uh, 10 per minute so i am uh, selecting unlimited and the uh, so it supports two types of token jwt and oauth i am choosing now oauth token and then i am clicking next mm, next next so here access token validity period it is by default it is 3600 seconds so if we after 3600 seconds it will get expired so if you wanted to make uh, let's say for example per one day and then 24 hours into 60 um, 60 minutes into 60 seconds we have to do otherwise let's say if you wanted to make it as um, it should not expire then you can give minus one here so then click on next so if you give minus one uh, it will not expire so it will have a lot of number it will generate it will not expire so it is based on again your requirement 
so I am giving minus 1 by that it will not tax pair. So then next and then let us see it has been generated a token. So this token the, we can copy it otherwise we can always it will be there. And then uh, finish. So done. So you are able to uh, if you see here direct in the applications you would have been created test. Now it is active. Now I wanted to, this is how we subscribe to any API. Then the next step is um, via WSO2, how to access my uh, API. This is my um, subscription. There is a, once you click on that, there'll be a um, left, in the left hand side navigation, there is a tryout. So if you click on that, then it will open that uh, tryout option. So here there is a um, I icon. If you click on it, right, it will show you the complete bearer token. So which we have at, at the time of subscription also we have observed, right? Both will be same. So this is the API which we have um, uh, published. So this is the API which we have published. So let us try out whether this gives the same output as Postman it has given. So um, try out. So here, once you click on tryout, we have to click on execute. So as of now, if you see, there is nothing uh, response here. Response is uh, empty. So if you click on execute, then it will show you the response. See, this is the response, same response which we got from the postman. This is directly trying out in the uh, WSO2 only. If you wanted to try out from uh, postman, you just copy this. To notepad and here copy the URL see if you see the URL is different this is via WSO2 HTTPS colon localhost colon 8243 is the uh, WSO2 it is not running my web service is running on 80 port if you see here right I have not given any um, port so um, this is 8243 is WSO2 sub subscriber port number. So uh, this is the test which we have created. The okay. Uh, now, <clears throat> so as I told you, so when we start WSO2, we should be very careful. We should uh, make sure that our J Java home has been set. So otherwise, it will not work. So this is how we uh, um, we um, so we uh, install, create a um, Swagger or open API JSON and then publish the API, subscribe the API and uh, via the Barra token we can access it. This is how we can do that. So the next thing which I promised is um, we should uh, make sure that JDK has been set. So in my machine I have JDK 11. So I will show you. So here I have JDK 11. So if you see uh, my path also, I have set the path. We should right click on the my computer. And then go to properties. Advanced settings. And then environment variables. So we should make sure that Java home is set. And then path also set. So if you don't have this right, then um, the WSO2 will not start. So this is one thing which you have to be very careful. So I hope uh, this video will help you. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.